Hello. So, um, since it's 2020 already, I thought I would make a little video on books I'm interested in. Because, um, I feel kind of lucky that I found this many books that are coming out this year because usually I don't have any sort of list like this where I know what's coming out and I'm interested and, you know, that sort of thing. And, uh, so yeah, I guess I'll just get into it. So, the first one here, there's two of them actually, and they're both coming from the same press, the Contramundum Press, which is my favorite, like, small press right now. Um, they do all of uh, Sinkuthi's stuff, translated, and they publish really unusual things. Their focus is, like, modernism, basically, and, uh... Yeah, they do really neat stuff, and following with the Senkuthi, they've already done Prey, which is an amazing book. Then they did Toward the One and Only Metaphor, which is a collection of little, like, short essays and aphorisms. And then they've done um, St. Orpheus Breviary, and then uh, Black Renaissance, which are um, the first two volumes in a series that Senkuthi wrote. Um, and they're all excellent. They're all absolutely excellent. If you like the books that I like, you'll love those, so I recommend them. And to go along with those, this year they're putting out, so the Prey that's out is actually only part two. You know, it's, what, a 700-page book, but it's only part, uh, part one, I mean, and part two is coming out this year. Uh, I think they said, like, middle to the end of this year, but I'm super excited for it. Apparently the translator has switched. The translator that did all the ones so far is Tim Wilkinson, but um, something must have happened. And now it's a Hungarian person, I think a Hungarian lady. And then another book by him they're putting out is called Chapter on Love. And as far as I gather, this is another one of his more essay books. All of his kind of blend essay and biography and memoir and all that stuff. But this one is, um, yeah chapter on love and then another like exceptionally small press that I like is called the tough poets press and um, to be honest a lot of their books they put out I'm not interested in it at all but it's one guy who does a Kickstarter for each book and he does it all himself he you know solicits the printing and gets the ISBN and all that stuff and he funds it all and it's extremely transparent of what he uses the money for and ships it all and you know um, the one book I funded before this is uh, Ice Never F which is a Gil Orlovitz novel and the one I'm interested in this year is another Gil Orlovitz it's the first book and I think it's supposed to have been a trilogy but as far as I know only two books have ever come out it's called Milk Bottle H and um, yeah it's like a mid 60s like experimental that that sort of thing um, unusual writing style which is the most valuable thing for me and uh, yeah if you try to buy it you basically either can't find it or it's over a hundred dollars and uh, yeah, so I, I think that's super neat. Um, looking forward to that. He just recently did, a, what, Knut Hamsen, some book by him. So that was neat. And then another one I was interested to find, although I'm somewhat weary. But uh, it's Ant Kind by Charlie Kaufman. You know, he's the one who does uh, the screenwriter and director. He has done, uh, you know, Synecdoche, New York, and Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind, and so, you know, he's clearly a, a strong writer, and he's doing this novel about uh, film, someone who studies film, like a filmmaker or something, who has found this one copy of this old movie, and then I think it gets lost somehow, or gets destroyed, and then they're looking for it, and all they have is one frame. And, uh, you know, it's kind of a, kind of a typical plot, so I'm curious to see what he'll do with it, but it is quite a long novel, and, 
it's just kind of like more of a stock plot, you know, the sort of adventure, discovery type stuff. Um, which, you know, I like that. I'm really interested in that. That's coming out by a big publisher. And then uh, one I'm really interested in, and it's already been translated once, I think. But he's a pretty, like, little-known writer. It's uh, On the Edge of Reason by Miroslav Kaleza. And I don't know if I'm saying his name right. But um, the other book I've read by him, which is excellent, and it's a really underappreciated modernist work, The Return of Philip Latinowix. And I'm not sure if I'm saying that right either, but um, it's about a painter who returns to his hometown and everything is like disorienting and um yeah well it's it's just a very little known eastern european if i remember correctly novel and uh yeah it's excellent i'd recommend it and uh yeah that's all i have i mean there are a couple other books that are coming out but um these are the ones that i'm really excited for and I'm pretty much definitely going to buy them. So, yeah. Hope you enjoyed. Tell me what you're looking out for and if if you know of anything that I would be interested in that I didn't say here, I probably don't know about it. So, uh, please tell me about it. Oh, and one last book that's coming out in 2020, We Can All Hope and Pray, is The Passenger by Cormac McCarthy. So, um, Please send good vibes that it that it gets <laughs> uh, published this year. But uh, yeah, so thanks for watching. Death is a gang, boss.